Hello everybody, Roscoe here, and welcome to our newest series. Now, I've been playing this game for well, fucking years, and uh, I've only really substantially put in a lot of time within the last week. Um, I've played it kind of off and on, as and when the, kind of, um, the expansions came out. By the way, the game's Crusader Kings 2, uh, in case you didn't read that on the top left-hand corner there. And, uh, yeah, so just to give you the lowdown, in case you don't know, this game has been fucking done to death, uh, YouTube-wise. But I thought I'd put my, my spin on it, which we'll get into in just a second. But uh, essentially, it's, a, it's a, dy a dynasty simulator, where the player controls a medieval dynasty from 1066 to 1453. Uh, but the DLC allows you to... Um, Start at earlier dates, which is eight or eight, what's that, 867 to 769. And you've got to use strategy and marry your marry into families and all the rest of that kind of stuff and see how far you can go through the years. So, for a game that's been done to death, what am I going to do? Well, right, as you could probably tell by the voice, I'm Scottish. And I've, I've looked, I have looked on the Tinter webs, and nobody. Nobody that I know of is doing one in Bonnie, Scotland. So we're going to start off. So I'm just going to play it. We're going to turn these videos into maybe 30 minute videos. And, uh, and I'll, I'll release them. If you want longer, let me know in the comments. But for right now, it'll be half hour. We're going to be playing in the early Middle Ages, which is 7, 769 AD. And uh, just to give you the spiel, it says the early Middle Ages started with the fall of the Western Roman Empire in the early... 5th century. The early part of this era saw the great Germanic, Germanic and Slavic migrations across Europe with people such as the Goths and the Lombards set on southern Europe, the Franks set on Gaul and the Saxons uh, crossing the seas and set on Britain. The Eastern Roman Empire was violently shaken by the pressure from the Goths and the, uh, what is it, the Avars, Avars and fought bitterly with the ancient Persian enemy. The rise of Islam saw the Arabs conquering immense amounts of territory in the Middle East and North Africa, and in India, several great dynasties evade for dominance, with the uh, Rash Takas, whatever that is, rising towards the end of the 8th century. And the steppes, the Khazars, uh, grew in power, and in Scandinavia, things were about to change in a way that was to affect the entire continent. So there you go. So yeah, we could choose Shalamanji and Chalamanji or whatever any of them, but we're not. It's like I say, we're gonna be on Scottish, so I need a custom game set up. So, here we go. Let me zip over here. So I've got most of the expansions, if not all of them, apart from the Sword of Islam. That's the only one I don't have. Um You can get all these things cheap. You go to Steam and then you uh, you'll see an expansion for this game. Don't buy it on Steam. Just just go on to fucking Google and search for blah blah blah. Say, uh, what is it? The Old Gods DLC Crusader Kings 2 CD key. And it'll bring up a whole fucking bunch of websites you can go to get this much much cheaper than what they're selling on Steam. That's what I've been doing anyway. So, uh, let us have a look here. So I want to go independent. By the way, I am in no shape or form uh, an expert with this. I am pretty fucking... Uh, what's the word? What is the independent one? There should have been an option for it. Alright, it's not there anyway, fuck it. Um, yeah, I'm not an expert at this. So if I'm doing anything wrong, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the uh, comments below. So I'm thinking about maybe taking the Zortneys. Out of Hebides, I think. That's Shetland. What is that place? Is that the Orkneys? I thought Orkney was over here. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. This is Sky and all this that over there. Uh, let us go. Who's this? Who's that there? See, this is my area. Lovian. This is where I reside in... Nice little Scotland. It's a beautiful place. The Romans tried to take it. In the end, what they did was they built a fucking Antonine wall. Uh, whilst they were building their Hadrian's wall. Is it around about there? 
I think it's the shortest part over that way. And uh, yeah, separated us off and just says, yeah, fuck them guys, because they're, they're, they're nuts. You're damn right we are. Fucking right, donkey. What's going on? What's the mouse? There it is. Right, anyway, stop talking. So we're going to go... I'm going to go here. Or do I want here? Yeah, he controls all that. I'm going to go for this one here. So we'll be taking this guy, Matt Gabbananan. But I'm going to change him up. I'm going to rule our designer. And I'm just going to quickly get my face and all this, that kind of stuff done. So, obviously, my ethnicity ethnicity, um, will be changing that to Scottish Bosch. Um, I'll tell you what, while I set up my little character here, uh, I'll show you the finished work. Okay, so there's my bloke there. King Roscoe Dalrata. I don't know why the Rata fucking part seems to have bounced out there. It is what it is. Um... I actually put Dolrados, but never mind. Um, so, yeah, that's what I look like. Uh, I'm not putting myself down as married. Uh, culture is obviously Scottish. I've linked Catholic. I've also put down Thrifty. Is it Thrifty? Thrifty. I'm probably saying that wrong. Thrifty Clerk. Um, gives me a negative one on diplomacy, but plus three on stewardship and a plus five percent on fertility. I never put myself down as married because it bumps my age up and we'll sort that out as soon as we go into the game. Uh, and I haven't touched anything else. I've not put any traits down or anything. I don't want to advance my age further, further than the 19. I, do, I want more more time on the ground doing what I need to do. So, without further ado, what we'll do is we will just start this up and see how we get on. So, I'm just like I say, I'm going to be doing this as a as a series, and I'll keep going up to the point where it just gets born. Um, normally, these games don't end up being born; they change all the time. But it's, uh, it'll be purely up to you guys, uh, purely up to me as well, so for the, between the two of us, we'll decide how we run with this series. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the game. Also, just quickly, um, just change the rules up a bit. I thought I would be able to get achievements, but the fact of the matter is I've used the rule designer and I've changed some of those stuff, so I won't be able to get that, which I'm a bit pissed off with. You can't change your rule, but... Never mind. I'll probably just do that in my own private game, which I have been doing for the last wee while, because I've managed to get um, 16 out of 136 of those. So, in any case, uh, the only things I have changed up throughout this whole list here is the raiding. I want them unrestricted. I want everybody to fucking raid, raid, raid. I don't want it historical, because I know what happens in historical with the raiding. Fuck me, those fucking Vikings are a pain in the tits. They really are. Uh, and the other thing that I have changed up <coughs> is the release prisoners after punishments. No, I don't want that. If I've got them in my fucking prison, they're in there for a reason. And if I have to fucking snap them like a twig, I didn't want them getting released. Um, so yeah, that's the only other thing that I've changed. Everything else is just the same. So, we'll crack on now. Okay, so, here we go. Welcome to Crusader Kings 2. Um, right, so I've already read all that pish, and uh, for the most part, if you're watching this video, you've already all the t t read all the tutorial stuff anyway, so I'm just gonna go blab, we're playing as an Irish Catholic King, that's not what I chose. Fucking Scottish. What's wrong with this fucking mouse? Thank you. Uh, that's, that's not true. Anyway, fucking never mind, right, close that, and then what we'll do is I'll just quickly mute those... Play. Right, okay, so, first things first. Right, so I've got my wee guide here. I've got a guide, because I want to try and do this the proper way, because I've the whole time that I've been playing it, I've been playing it wrong. So, what's it saying? First thing is to do is marry the heir to a genius. So what we need to do there is click on me, go to the uh, arrange marriage. By the way, if this is too small, the writing or anything like that is too small, let me know in the comments, um, and I'll get this changed up. It's currently pointing at my native... A monitor screen size, which that three eight blah 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 blah, whatever the case is, um, three eight forty by two one six zero. Uh, I've got a four K monitor, so but I'm finding sometimes that it's a bit small for me, so I've got to use my glasses. But if it's too small for you, I'll change it, change it up. I just think it looks much better when it's well, it's like that. Anyway, let me know. Uh, sorry. So arrange marriage. So I need to do the search icon thing, where's that about? Search. No. That's not how you search. I need a genius. Where is the search button? 
Ah, fine characters. This is what we're looking for. Right, okay, so. Search the realm. Gender. Woman. Not in prison, no. Married, no. Uh, search all. That's better. Uh, ruler. What I want to search for a ruler. Non ruler, no. Uh, dipl diploma, yeah, I want him in range. Join court. Yeah. Wow. Ch a chase, no. Join court, no. Uh, any religion, I want it. My religion, culture. Sort by diplomacy. Find the genius with the best stats. Nothing else matters. Don't worry about the prestige. Whatever. Just set up a gene pool. Right. So we're looking for a fucking genius. I would have ideally liked them. Adult. Why is that not there? Adult. Yes. Adult. Uh, would not accept an invitation to our court. Join court. Yes. There's only fucking one. We the matter search search for the fellows, female unmarried, not in prison, non ruler. She's gonna be fucking far to break in and she's chased her. Search the realm. There's only fucking one woman to marry. And she's fifty eight year old. Are you having a laugh? She wanna join? Who's the fucking genius this year? What do I want? How would you find a genius? It's under learning. Pathetic. What's a genius look like? There's one. No, that's ambitious. Should be green. Spend half your time fucking looking for people here. Right, who's the fucking best one then? Her. Huh? Orange marriage. With me. She's the best one for learning anyway. Apparently she would not join my court. Fuck it, right? We'll grab her. What age was she? 24. Right, okay, I can handle that. Right, so that's that done. Next up is my laws, so go to laws, and I would do progmented succession, which I can't do right now. Why can't I? So I can't do that just yet. I can't change that option. Uh, technology. See, this it all works if you're fucking part of, if you're not setting up in the fucking early 17 fucking, what am I? 700s. Right, let's just go through this shit and then see where we can, uh, who we can fire in here. Um, I.e. your steward is on a high diplomacy. They're usually the right job though. Send your chance to fabricate claims. So... Fabricate claims on a local place, so I'm gonna go for the boys right there. Let's get that done, and then train the troops there. Um, I know I need a steward. Stewards need to have high stewardship. Why does that guy hate me so much? Short reign, no, I'm a foreigner. Well, fuck you. So just get in there, and then we'll work on him later. Tell you what, what we'll do is we'll grant, give him an honorary award and we'll make you master of the hunt. Brings him up plus one. We're only starting off, so everything's going to be a bit weird. It looks like that fucking tutorial thing that I've got on the side screen there's a load of shite. Spy master, I need somebody with high intrigue. Fuck me, 19. You're a deadly bastard. Title cleaning. Uh.
Yeah, there. That's probably going to be a bit weird, to be honest. Uh, Culture-wise, let's move you off to there. And Court Chaplin. Somebody be high learning again. It's got to be your no point. Nope, sorry. Minor titles. Designated region. Region that I want as... What's the poem so good for? It's giving it a chance though. Preferably I'd like somebody that really likes me to be in fucking charge of the the place once it's good to go. Court physician, I assure you my pal. And uh, auto assigned commanders as and when they become available. Right, that's that shit done. Uh, title loss and succession. So I'd need to put them off onto my family in order to get them. Uh, pick an ambition. Let's go for it. Uh, ambition is to... Let's go for... See the realm prosper. No, cancel because it means I can't be at war. Tell you what, let's go for Groom and Air. And then I'm going to change this to... War. Special actions possible. Set the crown focus on Argyle. Do it right now. Right, let's go through the rest of the options. Uh, that's my counsellors. Two are zealots. Me. They're all fine, they're all fine. Alright, let's get everybody else to work. So, my steward, I want you to... Uh, how much money have we got? 60. Oversee construction here. And you, I want you to improve my relations with the boys here. Do we have a church there? We most certainly do. He's in charge. And then we'll sort out that title loss and succession when I start giving it to my kids at a later date. Let's get rid of these messages and see what needs to be built in this little place here. So let's start off with, let's get the hill fort, so you get a plus 5% on the uh, levy size, that's first and foremost, take some money down a little touch but that's fine, also thinking about firing a fort there, yep go for it, right, okay so we'll run it, what I'll normally do is I'll keep the speed reasonably high, and then we'll deal with the messages as and when they come in like this one, so we're getting married to Princess Gerbaraga, and uh, yeah, I want everybody to fucking pay me, it's their, it's their right, it's not their right, it's my right to say, pay me bitches, so I'll take that, kind of thought that he would take, give me a dowry there, so we're up 134, so that's him, uh, as soon as we get that claim we're fucking in there, What's our troop size can we take? We can take 355, he can field, well, 582, so we're going to need some help. Now, I know for a fact that they won't give me all those troops. History is a subject that has always fascinated you, and you have spent the last few weeks studying the campaigns of Alexander the Great. There are many lessons to be learned from the conquests in the East. I should devote more time to studying this. Go for it. Gives us a plus one to Marshall. So we're doing okay so far. We've got all the, the rest of the stuff. Just been marrying her. She's not exactly a genius, but um, she will make sure. Oh, there's the Earth. Earth and Hell Fort built. So we've got an Earth and Hell Fort there. Let's see how that improves. 362 versus 500 and something, so we're still not quite there yet. Hmm, do you want to change this? Get them to organise a raid? Ah, fuck it. Why is it going to be there though? 
My studies of warfare have come to realise that the clever tactics on the battlefield is only part of the story. There are other disciplines of equal importance, so... Inspire the men, and they will invade hell for you. Uh, what is that? That is an inspiring leader, a siege leader, and an organiser. What does an organiser do? The character is skillful, uh, skill, it's a skillful organiser in the matters of logistics and overcoming the challenges of moving a large body of men from point one, from one point to another. So movement speed's quicker, retreat is quicker. <coughs> or, siege is up 40%. Or, inspiring leader. Yeah, let's go for that. Give me the leader one. Do I want to do this? Fuck it, let's go. Let's fucking raid these bitches. And what about my wife? Is she producing kids for me yet? Come on, love. <laughs> Come on, love. Eh? Uh, Come on. Let me claim on board. <laughs> Sorry, be crude. Just doing my manly duty of improving the realm. Uh, why is money not going up? There it is. Pirates have uh, been marauding in increasing numbers all along the coast of the Isles recently. Worse, there is a rumour among the common folk that the pirates are being aided by Lombard agents. I must send a, lot of, a letter out there. Who is he? Why the fuck are you getting involved? Wow! I must send a letter to that guy to find out. Uh, it grieves me to hear you are in trouble, however I can assure you that I have not done any- I have nothing to do with the pirates that plague, uh, plague your coasts. That puts my mind at rest. He lies. No, let's tell you what, let's keep him on, let's keep him on the straight and narrow. I don't want to piss the guy off. I may have to call him in at some point. Especially with the King of Scotland being a bit of a bastard as it is anyway. He may, or may not, have an ambition to try and Screw me over. Uh, High Chief Orgwist of Fortubla is trying to insert my title. His Chancellor Chief Garrocos, or whatever the fuck his name is, is travelling around in a scow trying to find both documents and supporters to help him legitimise a claim on a title. I need to do something about this. You having a fucking laugh, mate? Really? Make him disappear. Bye! The assassin succeeded. Now we don't need to worry about that little dickhead. Oh, poor, poor bastard. Right, that's him. Oh yeah, there we go. Look, she's got a smile on her face. She's happy. I'm so happy with you, my leash. Haha, <laughs> Damn right. Me too. Although your opinion of me, it's not moving. <laughs> Why? Why don't you like me? Yeah, look, I'm more than a title. Let's make you the court tutor because you're smart as fuck. She's the brains of the outfit. I'm the brawn. Right. What are we doing in the meantime? I uh, invited people in my court to take part in a war game in which we practice defending our land from invading enemies. We will use wooden models. To represent invading armies, and I shall have to use clever tactics to defeat my opponents. Ha <laughs> ha, this will be fun. War games, baby. As we uh, assign tasks for the war game, we decide that Anlon will defend with me, while Ectax will be leading the uh, invading forces. Sounds like fucking city and warfare. That game's hard. Uh, let's let the best warlords win. At the beginning of the war game, uh, your enemy defends, uh, decides to do a strong frontal assault towards your centre flank. So, what we got? What's the options? Use all, uh, all means to reinforce and strengthen the centre. Slowly withdraw the forces in the centre. Let's slowly bring them back. Ectus decides to hold the line when our trips withdraw from the centre flank. Anlon uh, suggests that we charge the centre while the enemy hesitates. Yeah, go for that. That sounds like a good wee uh, counter-attack to the centre flank. As we launch our attack, we manage to break the opponent's centre, giving us the opportunity to subdue their uh, subdue their split forces with ease. We stand uncontested as victors of the war game. 
So we got plus one on Marshall, one Stuart Sif, and 75 on Prestige. Fucking hell, we're getting the Prestige up here, big style. Right, let's see. I'm sure we can build things out of Prestige. Yeah, it'll be these. How much do I need for that bad boy? 400. Expensive. Oh, we money! Dolrados. Murray Dolrados. Aye, I'll, I'll take the name. That's his name, me Murray. He's my boy. My boy, Murray. What do you mean he's got a childhood focus? He shouldn't have a focus. His focus will be, he's a wee bit younger now, but his focus will be on his. I'm going to give him... So I've got hiccups. Got pride. Minus seven. See, at, at age zero, he's no focused on short reign or fucking gavel kind succession. I'll be changing that, don't you worry, my wee boy. Tribal organization. Chiefs have limited power over their vassals. I right, let's bang that up too. Okay, I can go all the way up to medium if I wanted to. Um, when can I change this? For at least 10 years. Right, that's fine. Okay, crack on. How's the wife? I'm your fucking husband, love. <laughs> you should be loving me. Jesus. Uh, pirates have been marauding. Is it him again? Send him another letter. Right, come on. Your daughter's not happy. I must say, I do not approve of the tone in your last letter. Accusing le uh, others to try and obscure your own feelings is keeping your realm, s realm safe. Only uh, keeping your what was that? And keeping your realm safe only leaves you looking like a vile typo. Wow! I wish a speedy recovery from your paranoia. You're gonna laugh. Uh, the godless coward is hiding something. Answer accusingly. Stop. You're the worst kind of scum to frame and then attack in such a vile way. You're a vile typo and I would not wish to, uh, up, I would not wish upon anyone to misfortune the misfortune of making packs or agreements with you. Good riddance, dickhead. I'll still call you in though. Can we can we be friends? Who's your dad? Let me speak to him. He's been a dick. Small spear phone contest. Could be entertaining, and it's also a great way to enliven your battle technique. Hmm. Maybe you should arrange a contest at your court. Yeah, go for it. Let's throw spears. After a dozen spears have been hurled through the air, a soul victor emerges. No one managed to throw further uh, than Echod Machhead. I will. Congratulations, mate. Well done. Dickhead, it should have been me. As war grows to be a constant presence in your life, you have uh, you have on several occasions faced, nay, almost counted, death. So that's me brave now. Bosh. Right, let's pause that for a second, because I've got a message here. Right, who's he? Is he in a relation to me? Nah. He's dead anyway. He's a pope. And then we've got all these other things. Messages from when I first started up. Um... What was I going to do? Is there anything I can do here? I feel like we're missing a trick. How's my, uh... Dick? Dick is going fine. They're all doing their thing. What can I build there, actually? Nothing. Can I build Dudley? Okay, carry on the timings. Let's do this. Uh, what about my levy size here? 3 to 8. 3 to 2. This guy's getting bigger, man. Where's my monies? I'll tell you what, let's pause that for a second. I'll change this. Can't be changed until 74. So I don't have two years left on that. Uh, through stage war games and large scale exercises, I feel confident I can master one of the main military disciplines. So what we got? We got light footed leader, heavy f infantry leader, 
Or cavalry leader. Give me the light one. Because I don't think we have very much in the way of horses, do we? Let me just check. Is there a way of checking that? Retinues? Oh, can we do that? This is new. This is a new thing here. So I can get 21. So this is, this is new. The numbers of the current size of your retinue and the maintenance you pay for it. So this is my personal, professional and standing army ready to go as you order at all times. Un Un uh, what was that again? Uh, unlike army levies, retinues are always on the map and reinforced slowly. The maximum number of re uh, retinue regiments you can feel depends on your military organisation technology and the size of all the levies, levies in your in your realm. So this is new, this is, I'm sure this is part of the, uh, what the fuck was the name of that thing? The Roman one? Uh, what the hell was it? Fall of Rome? Legacy of Rome or whatever it was. Uh, so you can add these things in here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. How do I know when it's doing it? So I can create... Wow, really? Some light. Uh, create a shock retinue. This will start out almost empty, but reinforce up to the specified size. Cost to create is 98. We don't have that much money. It's, uh, yeah, it's going to cost me money. Pass it. I suppose we can do that later then. Alright, okay, so we can't do that just yet then. Until we put one of these things in. But that's interesting to know. That is really interesting to know there. Uh, what was that we message? After many months studying the campaigns of Exile and the Great, you have acquired many fascinating insights and gained new wisdom in military matters. You realise that the art of war might be well worth studying. Strategist. I should become a master of strategy. Wow, we are a military commander. And that, I think we kind of went over that half hour, but that is about it for this episode. If you've enjoyed this first look, uh, this first episode in the uh, Crusader Kings 2 series that I'm going to be doing, please remember to give it a like. If you're not enjoying it, give me the dislike. If you've got any comments or suggestions, put them down in the comments section below. And if you're new to the channel, and you've just discovered this video, and you've got to this stage in the video, then please consider subscribing. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.